Okay, so as you can see, we have AirDrop enabled on both iPhones and Android. I'm going to select a file from my iPhone device that's on the right, and I'm going to send it through AirDrop to my Android device, which is going to be very fast. It's going to be very efficient, and you can even do this for computers. You can do Macs and Android or Windows and iPhones, so it works both ways. So as you can see, the file is now sending, and as you can see, I can receive it from the Android file, and that's how easy it is. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, in today's video, I will show you guys how to use AirDrop between Android and iOS devices or Android and computers. Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see, I have an iPhone on the right and an Android device on the left. I'm going to show you how to enable AirDrop between these two devices really easily the first thing you need to do is have both devices connect to the same wi-fi it has to be the same internet uh, source so it can be wi-fi or hotspot as long as it's the same for both devices then this process will work now after you connect it to the wi-fi all you need to do is go to a link in the description box that's called snapdrop.net i'll provide you with that link make sure to open the same link on both devices and once you go ahead and do that you will see the devices shown on the airdrop icon so i'm going to open it on my android device and we'll see if it's going to show on the iphone so let's go ahead and load this website it's called snapdrop.net and as you can see now i can see the devices so i'm going to first send a file from my iphone to my android and then i'm going to do the same thing from the android to the iphone so i'm going to choose a pdf file or a video let's go through the files that i have i'm just going to choose this video and then i'm going to choose on select and the file should start sending as soon as possible it's going to be very fast and efficient so as you can see the file is now sending and on the android device it's going to be received and I can easily press on save and have that file open. So as you can see, I'm going to open it for the sake of this video. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. And if this video is helpful, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So let's go ahead and send a file from the Android device. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing, but this time on reverse, I'm going to press on save and then I'm going to press on download. And as you can see, the file is now downloaded on my iPhone. So it's as easy as that. And I have a surprise for you, by the way. So if you're made it to this part of the video, that means you watch till the end. And that means that you're going to be uh, having a chance to have your comment shown on my next video. So if you comment on this one, you'll have the comment shown in the next video that I post. So go ahead and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.